Hello everybody, my name is Mr. Hat, and today we're going to be ranking all the masks that the iconic slasher Michael Myers has worn in all 10 films that he has been featured in since 1978. From the Shatner mask all the way down to the upcoming sequel this October 19th. Starting at the bottom of my list at number 10 is Rob Zombie's Halloween 2. This movie came out two years after the original reboot in 2009, which was 50-50 with the fans, but this movie went further into Rob Zombie style. The mask in this film is worn out and falling apart, and the reason for this being because Laurie shot Myers in the face at the end of the previous film. But it's not like Myers hasn't replaced his mask before, and the decision for him not wearing his mask for most of this movie, I'll never understand. Next up on my list is the weird one that most people would put at their bottom, and that is Halloween 5. This film had a lot of issues going into it, but one thing that they really messed up on was the mask. The mask is supposedly a mold of Don Shanks who portrays Myers in this movie. The neck hangs very low and feels really loose around the actor's head giving it a more odd appeal. But I still think this Myers is the most menacing of the bunch. But anyways let's move on to number 8. H2O this one is interesting because there was at least three masks that were used in this movie. The beginning had, according to some sources, the mask from Curse of Michael Myers, or it was created by John Carl Beekler. Then there's the CGI mask used in the scene where Myers is face to face with one of the male school students, and then again before reshoots when Laurie is face to face with Myers. But the official mask you see the most with the large cutout eyes making the actor Chris Durant's eyes and face visible is the mask I'm ranking. I believe they called it the Winston mask. Moving on to the next one, number 7, which might be a little controversial as this high, but my number 7 is Halloween 4, The Return of Michael Myers. After the financial disaster of Halloween 3, the producers and studio heads wanted Myers back, but they didn't know how to accomplish that. With Myers and Dr. Loomis dead at the end of Halloween 2, it was going to take a lot of explaining and imagination to somehow bring them back. But finally, in 1988, they brought back the legend the fans knew and loved, and it was a hit. Unfortunately though, they couldn't bring back the original mask. This mask is especially blank. With minimal definition of the mouth and cheekbones, the eyebrows of the mask are thicker than those of the original, and the hair is tidier and fits closely to the skull. In one scene when Loomis is being attacked, Myers has the original mask on, but it had blonde hair and can clearly be seen still to this day. Alright, number 6 goes to the most hated film of this franchise, and that is Halloween Resurrection. This movie might lack a good story, good characters, and a good everything. It definitely succeeds with the mask though. Although some could argue that the mask shows a bit too much expression compared to the original blank look, it still looks sinister. It's just a shame it had to be in this film and then Kung Fu kicked out a window. Trick or treat, motherfuckers. Top 5, we're already halfway done. But prepare yourselves because my number 5 is going to be very controversial. Because my number 5 is the new upcoming mask. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, this mask is still good, but I just feel like the remaining masks are a little bit better. I'm not a fan of the aged look, although I understand what they're going for. The eye holes and hair are definitely a close resemblance to the original, and I applaud them for it. But the wrinkles and slight smirk this mask has kind of ruins it for me. It still looks good, and it looks like a great throwback to the original, and I'm definitely excited to go see it. So don't get me wrong. Are you still with me? I didn't piss you off, did I? because my number four is going to be Halloween 6, The Curse of Michael Myers. Everything about this mask, with the exception of the hair in a lot of scenes, is the first close resemblance we get to the original mask so far in this franchise. The blank look, the eye holes, the eyebrows, and the awesome performance from George P. Wilbur just makes it all the better. So what more can I say about it other than it's awesome? Top three, everybody, we're here. The bronze, silver, and gold medal of mask. Which one's gonna get the bronze, silver, and gold? The original, the original sequel, or the reboot or remake by Rob Zombie? For me, the bronze goes to Halloween 2, the direct sequel to the original in 1981. Some might not know this, but the mask in this movie is the original mask, but the movie was shot a few years after the first film, so the mask collected dust and faded a bit under Deborah Hill's bed. And because Deborah was a heavy smoker, the mask started to yellow. But what brings this mask down to number 3 instead of 2 is probably the performance we get by Dick Warlock in it. The zombified Myers in this movie is a vast contrast to the original Myers who has a little more speed in his walk, but this one is just too slow. From here on out, I think you know what my rating's going to be, but don't go away just yet, because because my number two is going to go to the movie that I saw when I was just 12 years old in 2007 with my mom. I don't know what she was thinking. 
But my number two is Rob Zombie's Halloween. This is the first of the big three to get a reboot, and because of its success, we got to see the other reboots. The mask in this movie starts fresh, like the original Nick Castle mask, with slightly more hair and is just as creepy. Then Michael retrieves the mask 15 years later, and it ages into a cracked gray version that gives it a more eerie look. The portrayal by Tyler Mayne is especially good and makes the mask work even better, in my opinion. Fans are pretty split on the reboot, mainly because of the foul writing in the first act and too much backstory. I agree with them on that, but this movie still resonates well with me. And the mask in this movie is definitely its greatest success. Alright, we're finally here at the top of the list. The number one mask worn by Michael Myers. We all saw this coming because my number one is the William Shatner mask in John Carpenter's 1978 Halloween. The simple idea of taking a Captain Kirk mask and painting it white, trimming bigger eye holes, dyeing the hair, shaving off sideburns, is the story behind this now classic horror mask that only costs like two dollars to make. It's a fan favorite and always will be, and to think we could have had a Nixon mask instead. But hey, what you expect my number one to be? You can't be the classic. Well, that's my ranking of all ten main masks worn by Michael Myers in the Halloween franchise. Let me know what your rankings are in the comments below, and as always, if you enjoy this at all, or agree with me, remember to hit that like button and to subscribe by clicking on my beautiful cartoon face in five seconds for more awesome rantastical content and ranking based videos like this. And until next time, I'll feed you Zine.